I did vow to myself quite a while ago that I would uh, probably refrain from doing vlogs. Um, I'm probably getting a little bit too old for uh, for this YouTube malarkey and uh, sitting in my car and talking to a video camera. However, um, this year there are some pretty interesting things, I think, uh, happening this year. Uh, first of all, this is my final drive in my 2017 Mustang GT. Um, this is my second Mustang. The reason it's my last drive is that we are on our way to pick up my new Mustang. Um, so just for a, a quick bit of background, uh, this is my second Mustang. The first Mustang was the same colour, so it was Grabber Blue, um, same spec. Uh, the thing was it had an electrical fault that would put it into limp mode. It wouldn't leave any error codes. Uh, Ford tried to diagnose it over a, a number of uh, months and weeks. Um, and unfortunately they couldn't find what was wrong with the car uh, so it was decided that the best thing to do would be to uh, buy back my first Mustang and give me this one now this is identical car other than it is a shadow edition it has some nice stripes and a different set of wheels uh, but otherwise it's exactly the same car and it was a replacement and to me it's always felt like a replacement I know that might sound silly to some people, but uh, if you're a car person like me, um, then you like to bond with your car, and when you find that you do bond with the car, um, it makes it that little bit more special. I bonded with the first car, I fell in love with it, so as soon as I saw it at the dealership, um, I had to have that car, and it was great for the six or seven months that I had it, until this fault started and so on. So the idea of the new car is that it's a brand new 2019 uh, Mustang in need for green. Um, it's not that well specced out. I've gone more for the base model. I don't need the stereo or navigation. Um, so I don't have the B&O stereo or the built-in navigation. Um, I've gone back to manual. Yeah, the last two Mustangs have been autos. Uh, I want to go back to manual. It has a couple of neat things, including rev matching on your downshifts and so on. It also has the active exhaust. So this one sounds really quiet at the moment because it's gone back to stock because I am trading it in today. Um, I did have Roush uh, rear axles, uh, axle back exhaust on it, um, and it did sound nice then. I've got to say the uh, the active exhaust on the new car sounds just as good and of course you can put it into quiet mode. So it has that, it has the digi dash and a few other things as well as the Recaro sports seats. So uh, this is the final drive. I'm heading to Chris at TDI uh, to see the car now it's finished. So this is when I dropped the car off with Chris originally and he's going to tell us all about uh, the work that he's going to do over the next three days to the point we're at now where I'm going to go and pick the car up. It looks completely different on the camera than it does in person. In person. The colour, yeah. I guess the, the screen doesn't give a good rep representation of the. No, but it is completely color. different, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, so what's the plans with it then? So we're going to put it here, which is it's had a full decontamination, um, iron tar removal, and then a clay bar treatment, uh, safe wash process, um, and then it's now on the ramp. Wheels have been taken off to be uh, cleaned and prepared. It's then going to have a uh, single stage machine correction, maybe some localized two stage because it's the you know deeper blemish and stuff here and there. Um, it will then be panel wiped down um, and have crystal serum ultra, which is G Techniques nine year ceramic top with XOV4, which is their hydrophobic coating to give two years worth of slickness and hydrophobic and beaten properties to make it a lot easier to clean. As, long, as well as um, for interior treatment, um, as in probably not much of you can see from the, uh, the the picture that it's got the glass treatment cue in on there at the moment, and then all the little trimmings such as the exhaust, um, calipers and stuff will be ceramic coated as well. So why does it take two days to do it then? Does it need to cure? Um, so the polishing stages is quite takes a, quite a fair amount of time to get around and make sure that the paint's um, perfect before it actually. We actually apply any coatings to the car um, and then once that's all done the coatings take a long time to put on as well and um, once they've been put on they need a cure for 12 hours so we can't um, let the car go out straight after it's coated because it might um, affect the integrity of the coating if it's if it's you know exposed to harsh elements and stuff straight away um, so in all in all depending on the amount of correction that's required It'll take around two to three days on something like this, which hasn't been touched by the dealership and has just been handed straight to us.
Um, so once we collected the car from uh, Ford, we brought it back and removed all the transportation um, protection. There wasn't a great deal on this, but they'll have uh, bits of plastic and stuff to protect when the doors have been opened and stuff. Um, we then went through um, a multi-stage uh, decontamination and safe wash, wash process, um, which involved removing iron contamination that can build up when the car's been transported to the dealership, um, tar spots, um, anything that's from the factory, you know, uh, wax oil and stuff that's come from the doors or, you know, when it's been sprayed underneath can like, land on the paint. So once um, we done all that and then once that was completed, uh, the car was brought inside and put on the ramp um, and dried off um, with air dryers rather than being dried by hand to reduce any chance of inflicting you know, swirl scratches and marring into the paintwork. Um, once it was on the ramp and dried, we panel wiped it down to make sure there was absolutely nothing on the paint and we could inspect the paint to see um, any imperfections and what, what damage was actually on the paint. Um, and then once that was completed, um, the paintwork went through a two-stage correction process to remove any swirl scratches marring from the factory, you know, any, anything that, you know, once the sun hits it, you would see um, in the paintwork. Um, and once we completed that, uh, the paintwork was wiped down again um, with panel wipe to ensure that the, the, the scratches weren't being filled um, with oils. So, you know, what, basically what you were seeing on that panel is exactly what the finish is and it's not going to drop back and, you know, all of a sudden some marks appear that you didn't actually see. Um, as far as the paintwork is concerned, then we had applied G-Technics Crystal Serum Ultra. It's their nine-year um, guarantee coating. Um, it's an ultra-durable ceramic coating that um, creates another surface layer on top of the paintwork, um, protects it from future swirl and scratches, uh, bird etching, all that sort of, sort of stuff you can get out in the, out in the open. Um, once that had cured, we applied a XO V4 layer, which is a hydrophobic super slick um, layer which will last around two years on top of the crystal serum um, that will give you uh, great uh, dirt repellency and water repellency from the paintwork. As well as the paintwork being protected, the, um, the, once the car was on the ramp the wheels were removed and they were given a full clean polish um, there was a lot of um, residue of wax and stuff from under sealing the vehicle in the factory so that took quite a bit of a removing and um, they were all cleaned up and coated with a, a ceramic coating as well to help protect them in the future. Um, this, the calipers were also uh, coated to help keep them clean for future cleaning. Um, glass was given a glass treatment, G, uh, G Technics G1 Clear Vision glass treatment which um, essentially improves visibility um, when you're driving in the rain and, and creates a water repellent windscreen and, and windows essentially. Um, the interior was also given a, a full treatment. Leather was uh, cleaned and protected with g -Technics L1. Um, all the fabric was coated with uh, g -Technics I1 smart fabric uh, as, long, as well as the door cards and dashboard, steering wheel and that sort of thing. Um, all the trimmings such as your, you know, your your headlights, the exhaust tips and everything else were also you know, cleaned, polished and treated with a, a ceramic where possible. Uh, somebody will, should get this done because you know, you, it is a, probably the second biggest investment uh, anybody makes after their house um, and you want to look after the car as best as possible. Um, applying a ceramic coating um, to the paintwork is the best possible protection you can get um, in regards to keeping the car looking as good as it does uh, once it's initially done. It makes it much easier to clean in the future. It makes maintenance a lot easier. Um, and you, sh you will find that, you know, three years down the line, if the car is properly maintained, that um, it can look as good as the day it was originally detailed. So the car is now heading down to the dealers. We're going to go and do the handover. I'm going to collect the new Mustang and um, the next video will be my first drive video. I'll, uh, I'll take it out for a drive and we can experience it together for the first time. Um, if you have any questions, if you want me to do anything uh, with the Mustang, if you want to know anything about it, anything about the spec, uh, miles per gallon, that kind of thing, uh, then certainly ask me. But the next section is me picking up the car and then the next video will be our first drive in the new 2019 Mustang in Need for Green.
so it's bye bye old car it's uh it was a replacement but it'll be missed bye 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 bye